Are you looking to upgrade your email signature into a professional looking business card that makes it easy for others to quickly import your contact information for future use? Well, creating a business card signature in your Outlook account is easy to do. To start, open Outlook and click on Contacts in the bottom left side bar. Click on New Contact just below the File tab. This will open up a new contact template. Enter your full name, your company name, your job title, email address. Notice the display as field automatically populated. This is basically how your particular Outlook will display this contact when you are creating an Outlook message. It's safe to write anything you want here, for any contacts for that matter. Other people will only see the default. Next, add a business phone number and your business address. And let's add a photo or company logo by clicking on the photo icon. To give your card a more customized look, right click the card image and click edit business card. You can add fields and delete fields and change the formatting here. When you have the card you want, click OK and save and close. Now you should be able to see your newly created business card. To have it appended to your outgoing emails, click the bottom left mail tab, new email, message tab, click on the signature button, and click signatures. This will open up the signatures and stationery window. In the email signature tab, click on the new button, then enter a name for this signature. We'll call ours biz card. Because anything in this box becomes a signature, we want to get our business card in here. So click on the business card button and find your newly created contact. If you want your signature added to all your outgoing emails, select it in the new messages box. So the next time you open an email, your new business card signature will be included in the body of the email, as well as a VCF attachment. We'll come back to what that means exactly. But if you'd rather your business card signature only be included occasionally in emails, go back to the signatures and stationery window and leave the new messages box as none. This will make it so you can choose when you want to include your business card by clicking on the signatures button in your email message. So what is a VCF attachment anyway? A VCF or virtual information card file basically holds your contact information and flawlessly interacts with Outlook making it extremely easy for others to get your contact information just by dragging it into their contacts. Looks like you're all set to turn your email signature into a dynamic, professional-looking business card.